my great grandfather pretty had a lot of land. He he, he owned a lot of land. Was a very well-to-do man. Uh, they moved from Mars Hill into Ackworth. Okay. All right. Now he had uh, at the turn of the century and on up into the 20s, 30s, 40s, up through there, uh, he owned a livery stable that was on the north end of town, and and you can see it, and it's I mean you can clearly see on it, G. W. McLean. And he also owned a dry goods store. And then uh, at one time, he owned the Ackworth Hotel, which was on Main Street. And it, it was called, at one time, it was a Lynchfield, I believe it was, hotel. And then uh, my grandfather McLean owned it, and it was just the Ackworth Hotel. Uh, they tore it down in like 60 or 61. Uh, now, Mother, family lived right next door to the hotel on Main Street. Uh, that's where my grandmother and grandfather lived, all right? So you know, I grew up here uh, on Park Street, at 102 Park Street. And, and then that's where the Pope side comes into play, if you will. My grandmother, Pope, for lack of a better description, was an indentured servant. She lived with a family in Knoxville, and she took that family's name, which was Shipley, and later on, Daddy tried to find the history of my grandmother, his mother, but at this point, everybody had whatever. Uh, and we had whatever they had passed on. So we as a family really don't know a lot about my grandmother. My grandfather Pope was the blacksmith for the Knoxville Brewery in Knoxville, Tennessee. Is that right? And he was a very skilled artisan and mechanic with metal. Now, they moved, my grandparents, Pope grandparents, moved to Ackworth some, around 1920. Now, the house that I grew up in is on the corner of Park Street in South Main. It's still Park Street. And the house was built there's some question as to when the house was built, if it was built in the 1850s or the 1860s. Now, it is still there. All right, there was a commons school, if you will, where boys and girls went to school to learn life skills. And it's a little bit ambiguous as to where the school really was or really wasn't. Uh, there's two or three versions on it. The house that I grew up in, my grandfather purchased in the 20s or 30s, was a dormitory for the common school. But the, the, the mix of people that I grew up with mm -hmm. was just a pleasure. And I have, and I tell, I say this sometimes, we were all dirt poor. We just didn't know. Uh, there weren't a good side, there wasn't a bad side. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you wore Bilbo Hall, that wasn't no sin. Or if you had jeans, or if, if you, and I think everybody, up till we got in high school, just about all the boys at some time or other will be a and 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 jeans and you still I don't care where you go in town what you're doing you will see people you know every day I, when I leave here today doesn't matter if I stop at McDonald's I can almost bet you somebody will be in there that I know or acquainted with 
That was Aquas, you know, 55 years ago. Uh, and I like that. I really still like that atmosphere, if you will. Uh, I think personally that Ackworth over the years has had, the city of Ackworth has had people that had that same thought process, that same progressive forward look to ensure that, for instance, what we're doing right now uh, is that little part of Ackworth. It can, you can't ever, you can't go back. It didn't go jam. I mean, we, we can't. Uh, but you can certainly preserve part of it in hopes that in the future that, that, that people would, would pick up on it and, and see those things. Mm -hmm.